Like maybe that window actually leads. One important tool a good detective uses besides asking questions of people is to selectively reveal information to them and listen to their response. If you tell Gloria about Fifi, you may receive additional information about Fifi, or at least what Gloria thinks of her. Oh, this is getting quite complicated, <laughs> like a real detective thing. Honey, if you found any items you're confused about or would like more information about, try showing it to the others. They may reveal more information about it to you. Okay, so that's how we use items. Hmm. So we could show the handkerchief. We could show our notebook. Gloria Swan Song, a beautiful platinum blonde, is the Colonel's other niece and Gertie's daughter. She seems so glamorous with her long feather boa, stunning jewels, and lovely gown. You've been told that she's a successful actress in Hollywood, although you've never heard of her. Do we go look outside first? Might as well. Like, I just feel... I'd, I'd be just worried someone's been pushed out, but if there's well, actually... this is the door, isn't it? This just goes straight out. Look, 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 look. Oh dear. It looks as if Gertie has accidentally fallen from her upstairs window and killed herself. Or... Was it an accident? Gertie's dead alright. Oh, Netflix doesn't belong to you. We're not a thief. Yeah, but... Oh, I don't know. Should we tell her about Gertie? Yeah. Tell about Gertie? Mother! Oh no, it can't be! Is she gonna go out there now? Seems so. Should we go? Yeah, I think we should go. Can't go anywhere. Unless she has to come back. Oh, right. oh, you're very mean. There's nothing there. Oh, I like that. Is it safe to go out there knowing someone's just. Yeah. <gasps> That's weird. Who moved that body so quickly? But do we get to go outside then or not? Because if it's one night... Probably not. But what's the point of that map? Maybe we will go... We must have to explore further afield. You should turn off the music. Um. There is already a record playing. Oh, one of your favourites. I guess I can't turn it off. It's too good. This is one of my favourites. <laughs> I'm a big fan. So where do we think the body's gotten to? You know, Polly, you really understand me, don't you? Ark, Polly! Ark! Okay. So she's wasted. Yeah. What's her name? Ethel. Ethel. Ethel is a stylishly dressed, overly made up older woman. Many years of hard drinking have taken their toll on her, as her face is puffy and red, and her skin has wrinkled prematurely. She always seems to have a drink in her hand. You have never met her before, but Ethel is your friend Lillian's mother. Can we exit through this door as well? Yeah, let's have a look. There's a lot of ways into this house. I guess there might have to be. 
This is the southeast corner of the mansion, right outside the parlour. Okay. I mean, I guess it's not actually telling us. It's not stopping us from leaving, is it? It's no, it just warned you. It's recommending we stay inside. Uh, okay. We didn't try to go out here, did we? Back garden. Yeah. Out of the back door, a garden path encircles a small statue, then continues on through a lovely rose arbour. Okay, so I guess we could probably go wandering. I don't know whether we should be at this point or not. I don't really... Like, someone's been murdered, man. Do we need to yeah, tell everyone? Should... should we be telling <laughs> everyone? In real life, you'd be telling everyone. Yeah, I think... Yeah, but now we have no evidence of the body. That's true. Like, what are we supposed to do, say? Do we it go back to... It was there, but it's not there anymore. Yeah, do we go back to her room? Yeah, let's try that. See if we can, one, go out of that window onto what might be the... Veranda. veranda. Uh, upstairs veranda. We saw someone moving about on the veranda as well. Yeah, but it's been a while. You were standing in front of the old plantation house right by the front door. Okay. Alright, let's go back to that room. Just wondering, yeah, where that body has gone. I wonder if this in some of these doors and wardrobes. Not close enough. <laughs> like, there's quite a few things which are just empty. Yeah, I think there's going to be a lot of, like, maybe they've hid them hidden. Oh! It's all been tidied, tidied up. up. Tidied up the room. But there's still blood on the uh, table. Is there? Is that not blood that's or a... is that just light? I think that's just a potted plant. No, 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 underneath, on the legs. Oh, I think that's... I don't know. Because there was blood on it when it was sideways. Why would there be blood, though? Because she just got pushed off the... side. Mm. There's no need to open the window. I don't think you can. I wonder if you can go out this... These are, must be windows as well. Hmm... How do you get out onto the veranda upstairs, then, that we were seeing someone walking around on? No clue. Hmm. I would guess, then, that they came out one side, came out of that room, came, came into one of these rooms. Leave me alone, you cad. Uh-oh. Okay. Yeah, but how? Where do we... I guess in theory you can get to it from any window. Yeah, but we don't... When I tried to open it, it wouldn't let me. Yeah, maybe we can't, specifically. Oh, we could just see them out there. But we can see them out there. Like, there is one that goes around the house. Yeah, it could be. could be. Didn't want to tell Rudy about Gerto. I think your point sort of stands. Yeah, there's no evidence. Yeah, like... They won't believe us. But then I do wonder where she's gone. You need well, to he find... said something about cigar smoke. Who smokes a cigar? That man. They all smoke, don't they? Or... Three of them smoke something. Yeah. It's not going to be him unless he can walk. That's true. We want someone to walk around the veranda. So we don't. Someone that can walk but smoked. Was... And. That was the brother and sisters both smoking, weren't they? Yeah, they were both smoking. I can't tell if it was a cigar, though. Well, I mean, I'd love to. 
Where's our friend? What, Lillian? Yeah. I haven't seen her for tried, ages. We tried the dining room. Or the kitchen. Let's have a look. We'll have a look. Oh, there's no bodies I in think, there. I think it's going to be in Rudy's room for some reason. Well, let's have a look. Why do you think that? Just to Do you think he guess. did it? What? What do you mean, yes? Oh, no, I just... Oh, it's just a guess. Oh, guess. I thought you said yes. <laughs> it's like, uh. um, actually, though, he doesn't have a cupboard, so never mind. No, work. there's nothing here. Should we tell him? See what happens? Yeah, I guess so, Gertie. That can't be true, not mother. Okay, so that's making Oh god, them... this is going to be a long... Well, we just leave him. I mean, he's probably just going to... Oh, it's just a cutaway. It's not time late. You're loony! There's nothing there! You know, Fifi could be used for an advantage, if a person was smart. Nice. That's the problem now, is we've seen Fifi with him, and we've seen Fifi with the old man. Yeah. I mean, I guess, could you get away with saying, tell about Rudy, because that was him sort of forcing himself on her, right? Mm. Um, but if we get too many things... There's no context to tell what we're trying to tell about. Yeah. So maybe only one person can do one thing. Uh, we didn't maybe. I don't know. I guess there's also the potential that some of these people aren't in the house. Oh. That was creepy. There she is. Someone was walking around the outside. Now, now, child. Oh. I know, Celie, but it just doesn't seem right. Oh, hi, Laura. What, did you catch what she said? Because I was stuck no. on child. I did not. I was also stuck on child. That little tramp. I wish she'd go away. Just to tell everyone. Rudy can never control himself around women. That's why he's always in trouble. You are standing at the northeast corner of the house, right outside the kitchen. Beside the kitchen door, you see a doghouse and a cellar door. Come and get it. I'm close enough. You try opening the cellar door, but alas, it is locked. Hmm. Should we go out further? This is an odd looking place. It seems to be a private little garden completely surrounded by a large hedge. You wonder why. That's quite a nice touch. Hmm. Right. I don't know where to explore exactly. I don't know if we should be spending our time just trying to find our bearings for now. 
There is a poor but clean shack here at the edge of the North Sugar Cane, the old Sugar Cane. Where did North come from? Uh, fields. Nearby, you see a small chicken coop. What's this for? So, this is Seedy's house. Oh, is it? On the map. It's locked. Okay, so Seely lives on the grounds, but not in the house. A broken arched bridge crosses a large stream at the swamp's edge. Is this on the map? Yeah, it's a broken bridge leading to a different little bit, of, little island. Okay. Is it worth going? Oh, how did I get here? A misty... Misty Alligators. bayou waters surround this old plantation, cutting it off from the rest of the world. Better watch your step around here. Yep, that's an alligator. Oh, I'm not quite sure how I'm getting to these locations. So you went down from the bridge, which took you to a right-hand side. This is a, gr a grid. It's a grid, is it? Yeah. And a faithful grid. The old faithful grid system. Yeah. Old reliable. Okay, and that's the back garden. This was a rose arbor, wasn't it? Yeah, that's on there. It leads to a rose garden. This is a wonderful little garden. You wonder who planted it. Certainly not the colonel. Okay. Yes, I wonder how real time some of this stuff is happening, like, or whether it's just looking for trigger points so that you can see bits. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I mean it's hard to tell, isn't it? Like, did we catch this person walking past this thing because someone happened to be walking past? There's not, we're not seeing movement when we're walking built room to room, are we? Or not if really, we're... no. We're seeing people leave rooms. Yeah. But they don't do, like, I, I think they just teleport. We've to not it. had the opportunity to follow someone and they've gone far enough. Yeah. For us to test that, but I think it. some things trigger based on what you see. And I like... guess the events are assumed to take place if you happen to not see them. Yeah, I guess so. Let's see, is that person that just walked by there someone of significance, or could it be anyone, or could it? Is it just a bit of creepy? Could it be anyone? Could is it, it be creepy, creepy atmosphere? Hard to tell, really. Oh, you are standing at the northwest corner of the house, right outside the colonel's study. And so people are outside. Well, we saw the butler, I guess, and the dog. I can't go on with this any longer. I must tell him about... Quiet! Let's go into the house to continue this discussion. Unfortunately for you, my friends, I have legs too. No privacy here either. Oh! Oh, I'm an idiot. We should have gone round. Yeah. Should have gone round. Let's follow them. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's go to the dining room. Okay, so what? how do we get to the dining room? I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. So they went to the dining room. So if we go out here... And we go this way. Can we listen in at the dining room? That's the kitchen, isn't it? So we'll just cut us past the dining room to the kitchen. Yeah, yeah seems so. What was this? Um... I've forgotten, this one was... 
Oh, I just kitchen. I think no, we have almost the, the kitchen. Uh, that's the pub, drunk lady. So how do you get to the dining room? I don't think you can. Uh, and I think it cut. It probably cuts off in a similar way. So there must be another way to listen. I'm warning you, Wilbur, if you say anything to... Young woman, will you please leave us alone? Yes, yeah, so they're talking, but we need to... How do we listen in? Yeah. I mean, they've got something interesting to say that I want to hear. But this just takes us straight to the kitchen. Can we listen in the kitchen? Maybe. Giving me an option. <laughs> Listening to no one. They're uh, done with their conversation. Man, don't know how we're supposed. To, maybe we're not meant to hear them. Maybe you're just supposed to piece together what they're saying at some point. I mean, that we know that Clarence and Wilbur now have some sort of secret, and Wilbur wants to tell. Maybe we could ask about them. Yeah. Try to discover what it is uh, they're talking about. 